Unim. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Hu. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Nim. Hu Nim, Khmer, July 25, 1930 or 1932 to 6 July 1977, alias, Foas, was a Cambodian communist intellectual and politician who held a number of ministerial posts. His long political career included spells with the Sankum regime of Prince Noradam Sihanouk, the communist guerrilla resistance, the Grunt coalition government in exile, and the administration of democratic Kampuchea, when the country was controlled by the Communist Party of Kampuchea, the Khmer Rouge. Nin had a reputation as one of the most independent-minded and outspoken members of the Khmer Rouge, and was eventually arrested, tortured, and executed at Tol Slang Security Prison in 1977 during a party purge. Early Life Hu Nim was born in 1932, July 25, 1932 according to some sources, in the village of Korkar, Kampong Siam District, Kampong Cham Province to a Sino-Khmer family. 1. Unlike many of his later colleagues in the party intelligentsia, he came from a poor background. In his, confession, I would like to report to the party about my history, ex under torture at Tol Slang, Nim was to relate that, my father, Ho, died in 1936 when I was just six years old. I then lived in the care of my mother, named Soren, a poor peasant. She earned her living by offering household services to people. His mother, who remarried a landless peasant farmer, eventually sent him to live with Sam Kaur at a pagoda in Mean, Prachar district. Brought up by Sam Kaur, Nin was given the chance to study at Kampong Cham Junior School, going on to the Lisee Sisawath in the capital, Phnom Penh. He stayed at the Unnalam Monastery, with his studies being funded by the family of his future wife. In the early 1950s, Nim, in common with many other later communists, became associated with the left-leaning, pro-independence Democratic Party. As his confession stated, he was a part of the party's radical people's movement wing, the Prakia Kalana, led by Um Sim and associated with the Republican nationalist Sun Nak Tan. Nim married in 1952, and subsequent to finishing his studies worked briefly as a teacher. After further studies in law and economics he moved into government work, and secured a full-time post at the Ministry of the Interior. He continued his work for the Democratic Party up to the 1955 elections, which handed power to Prince Noradam Sihanouk Sanka movement amidst an atmosphere of extreme political intimidation and possible vote rigging. Studies in France The Democratic Party's policies had offered talented Cambodians the chance to study in France on a government scholarship, several future communists, including Saloth Sar, Pol Pot, Q Sam Phan, Ying Sari and Ho Yuan, had studied abroad under this system, falling under the influence of the French Communist Party in the process. Hu Nim was to take this route in 1955, intending to become a customs officer, he studied at the customs school and law school in Paris, traveling several hours every day by metro to get to his place of study. Amongst the expatriate community, he met Ho Yuan and several other future colleagues, although stating in his confession that political activities were not carried out because my studies required so much attention. Nin returned to Cambodia in 1957 to work as a customs official, but from this point his political involvement was to increase substantially. Whether or not he had taken part in political activity in France, his position was to move steadily to the left following the winding up of the Democratic Party during the same year. Under the Sankum 1958-67 Sihanouk, having effectively destroyed the ability of the Democratic Party in the socialist Prakia Khan opposition to function, now made an attempt to co-opt young leftists into the Sankum movement, amongst the prospective candidates Ho Yuan, Chao Sao, Yuk Ven and Hu Nim all won seats. Nim became Under Secretary of State in the office of the Prime Minister, and held a variety of junior ministerial posts over the next nine months. More significantly, he began to build up a substantial base of support in his Kampong Cham constituency, which he was to represent for the next nine years, 
becoming one of the most visible and well-known Cambodian leftists. By the early 1960s, Nim had joined the staff of the Sionukist daily newspaper Nik Chit Nayam, and after a trip to Beijing was asked to form the Khmer Chinese Friendship Association. He also traveled to Pyongyang and to Hanoi, where he met Ho Chi Minh. 5. Dot continuing his studies in law at the University of Phnom Penh, he completed his doctoral thesis on land tenure and social structure in 1965. The 1966 elections resulted in domination of the Sankam by its rightist elements, though thanks to his local popularity, Hu Nim, along with Ho Yuan, was able to retain his seat, despite Sihanouk actively campaigning against him. He was briefly made part of a leftist, counter-government, set up by Sihanouk to balance Lan Nao's right-wing cabinet, but from this point the political tide was to turn against the remaining leftists who had not already joined the communist underground movement. The situation was inflamed in March-April 1967 by a revolt in the far northeast of the country, the Samlao Uprising, that was blamed by Sihanouk on left-wing agitation, and specifically, though most likely incorrectly, on the activities of the remaining openly leftist politicians, Ho Yuan, Hu San Fan, Chao Seng, and Hu Nim. The first two men, threatened with arrest, a military tribunal, and calls from right-wing members of the assembly for their immediate execution, fled to join the communist guerrillas in late April. Hu Nim was later to write that he initially joined them, but returned to the capital after a few days, having been persuaded by senior cadre Vorn Vet that it might be profitable to continue engagement with Sihanouk and persist in anti-government agitation. Sihanouk, however, was to respond by calling Nim dangerous and to ban the Khmer Chinese Friendship Association. An attempt by Nim to submit a petition for its reinstatement backfired dramatically, when it was discovered that the cadres who had collected the thumbprints used for signatures had done so under false pretenses, Sihanouk called a meeting where he admonished Nim in person as, a little hypocrite, whose, words carry the scent of honey, but, who, hides his claws like a tiger, adding that he, had the face of a Vietnamese or Chinese. In this climate, it was unsurprising that Nim soon received instructions from Vorn Vet to take to the forests. On October 5th, Sihanouk warned him that he would be subjected to the military tribunal and the execution block, he left for the Cardamom Mountains, escaping waiting intelligence agents, two days later. Like Ho Yuan and Kyu Sam Fan, Nim was widely assumed to have been murdered by Lan Nao security police. The Grunk Further information, Grunk Hu Nim was to spend the next three years in the Cardamoms as part of the communist guerrilla movement. After the Cambodian coup of 1970, however, in which Sihanouk was deposed by Lan Nao, the situation was to change dramatically. Sihanouk established a Beijing-based government in exile, the Grunk, in collaboration with his former communist enemies, and Hu Nim, now described by Sihanouk as one of our outstanding intellectuals, was made one of its most prominent figures as Minister for Information. There were soon disagreements between Nim and the party center led by Salath Sar, Pol Pot, and Aiyang Sari, as Nim, along with Ho Yuan and Kyu Sam Fan, opposed the party line on. The collectivization of agriculture in the liberated areas. Nim was to gain a reputation as one of the more outspoken members of the party, being generally in favor of more moderate economic policies. Democratic Kampuchea Nim was to continue in his post as Minister of Information after the 1975 communist victory in the Cambodian Civil War and the establishment of Democratic Kampuchea after the remaining Sinukists were purged from the administration. He gained a certain amount of international prominence as the regime spokesman during the Mayaguez incident. Nim was later implicated in a confession made by Northern Zone Commander Khoi Thuan, another former schoolteacher, and was arrested by the party security apparatus on April 10. 1977, over a period of several months, he was brutally tortured in security prison S-21, where the leader of the interrogation unit was the feared man Nai Nim appears to have only reluctantly implicated himself in counter-revolutionary activity, even displaying what in relative terms seems extraordinary courage. 
by including criticism of the party standing committee in his notes. By the time of his last confession on May 28 he wrote, I have nothing to depend on, only the Communist Party of Campuchia. Would the party please show clemency towards me, adding, I am not a human being, I am an animal, that he was finally killed on July 6. The historiography of the Vietnamese-backed People's Republic of Campuchia regime, which ousted the Khmer Rouge in 1979, was to emphasize Nim's role as a moderate socialist, with the result that his story is still prominently featured in the Tul Slang Museum.